final leg here for another huge weekend of track and field where we had great performances both on the field and in the track from the pros and the NCAA's huge leads that we have all over the world. So make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you could follow all the action and all the content that we have coming. Jumping right into things though, first for the NCAA, we have Raymond Ekevo from Florida representing Nigeria. In that 60 meter dash, he managed to run 6.53 seconds, not only an NCAA lead for 2020, but also number two in the world in the 60 meter dash huge personal best for him definitely one of the front runners going into ncaa's keeping things in the sprint though we have makai harris from texas he's a junior at texas in that 200 meters he ran an ncaa leading time of 20.49 seconds really dropping that ncaa lead down he already had the lead previously so he's really trying to put something down very very fast and this 20.49 really shows his performances here but also on the women's side in the 200 meters we had a navy a battle competing for for Ohio State really did well last year this year she's setting herself up very well ran an NCAA lead of 22.86 seconds she beat out the previous lead by a significant margin so really putting her stamp on the NCAA lead already moving up to that 400 meters though on the men's side we had the freshman from North Carolina A&T Randolph Ross really putting himself down as the front runner in that 400 meters 45.44 seconds the 2020 NCAA lead again only a freshman at North Carolina a &T and we know a &T has been really producing some great spinners over the past two years. Definitely going to be looking out to see what he does come NCAA indoors. Now for Trey Cunningham, the junior from Florida State in those 60 meter hurdles, already the NCAA leader, but he improved that lead for 2020 to 7.52 seconds. That improves not only his 2020 lead, but moves him to number eight all time in the history of the NCAA. So showing that he's definitely going to be moving on up, going to improve upon that third place he got last year behind Holloway and Roberts in that 60 meter hurdles. Now a couple results from the 600 meters of course not run at NCAA champs but still some great highlights. Devin Dixon from Texas A&M the great 800 meter runner he managed to run 1 minute 15.16 seconds moving him to number four all time in the NCAA in that 600 meters. On the women's side though we also had Kayla Johnson competing for Miami. She managed to run 127.64 seconds also making her number four all time in the NCAA 600 meters. Now a huge result from the Oregon men competing down at the race back invitational in that distance medley relay they managed to break the ncaa record in nine minutes 24.52 seconds huge huge results for them the four guys who ran we have james west jacob miller charlie hunter and cooper tier but all four of these guys managed to really dominate breaking that ncaa record set back in 2008 so huge performance by them they were also followed behind by the iowa state men they managed to run 928.22 seconds moving them to number nine all time in the ncaa so huge performances in that DMR, definitely setting up for a great rivalry going into the NCAA champs. Still with the relays, the Texas A&M men, they managed to put down a huge performance in that 4x4, running 3 minutes, 2.77 seconds. That's the number 11 performance in NCAA history. Of course, we know Texas A&M is already the number two team in the history of the NCAA, but this really shows that they might be going for a great, great season going towards that NCAA champs once they have a lot more competition. Now, moving into the field events, Rayvon Gray from LSU, already the NCAA leader at 8.04 meters. He improved that lead going to 8.09 meters. 2020 NCAA lead number two in the world for the long jump. Definitely showing he is the clear favorite going into the NCAA champs for that long jump. We also have Abigail O'Donohue also from the LSU in that high jump. She was the previous leader. She was overtaken by Ellen Echo from Kentucky, but she managed to get that lead back getting 1.88 meters NCAA lead. She's going back and forth. Definitely going to be a good duel with Ellen Ekholm when it comes to those NCAA championships this year. We also have to note Jasmine Moore, the freshman from Georgia. She took the lead for the NCAA in the triple jump, jumping a personal best of 13.90 meters. So really huge performance for her in that triple jump. But also we can't forget about Chris Nielsen. He was a huge performer, the NCAA outdoor champion last year, finished second to Mondo indoors last year. He managed to get out to a great indoor personal best of 5.81 meters, really showing that he's not letting up. He's, of course, he was competing with Mondo last year, but he's showing he's really going to keep the quality going, going for an NCAA win this year indoors. Finally, for the two throwers, we have Shay Tywell from Old Miss. She's a junior there. In that weight throw, she managed to get out to a huge performance of 22.70 meters, really showing she's putting down some great quality in that weight throw. Then in the shot put, we have Samantha Knowing, who was really dominant in the 2019 season. This time in 2020, she really set things off very strong, getting an NCAA lead in 2020 of 18.17 meters. Great performance 
in that shot put, probably gonna be the favorite going into NCAA champs as well. All right, so huge performances all around in NCAA, but moving into the pro side, we also have some great quality performances. First, huge for Brees Zango, the Burkina Faso triple jumper. Remember, he was bronze medalist at Doha last year. He broke the African record indoors last year. This time, he went even farther, jumping in Paris. He managed to jump 17.77 meters. Of course, not only a national record, also an African record, a continental record. Huge performance from him. Definitely going to be really keeping that quality going from last year into the 2020 season. Now, another huge performance. We have Gemma Riki from Great Britain competing in that 800 meters along with Laura Muir. She managed to get the best of Muir running a huge national record of 1 minute 57.91 seconds. Not only a national record for Great Britain, but also moves her to number 11 all time in the history of the indoors 800 meters. So really high quality performance for her. Again, beating out Laura Muir, who's already a great high quality performer at her best as well. So definitely a great performance for her. Maria Lasiskene from Russia, one of the most dominant high jumpers that we've had this decade. She managed to get out to a world leading performance of 2.04 meters, really keeping the quality going, gonna see what she's able to do outdoors and if she's gonna really improve upon her personal best of 2.06 meters, might see that go down indoors as well. Now we had a huge sighting of Allison Felix. She's opening up her indoor season. She was running in Michigan in that 60 meters. She managed to get the win, not a very fast time, but 7.35 seconds, really good quality for a season's opener. We're gonna see her progressing through the Olympic season. And of course we know she's gonna be at Milrose. So keep a lookout for Allison Felix. Jumping back to Russia, we have Anzelika Sidorova, the pole vaulter, the 2019 world champion in Doha. She managed to get out to an indoor world lead for 2020, 4.80 meters, really great quality, showing that she's not letting up from 2019 and wants to continue through that Olympic season, really going for some great quality here. Sam Kendricks from the United States, earlier in the week, he was competing in the pole vault and managed to jump a 5.80 meter performance, the second best performance in the world, equal second with a couple of guys. So really high quality from Sam Kendricks, the 2019 world champion. Finally, in the 60 meter hurdles, we saw Brianna McNeil. She got out to a season's best of 7.85 seconds, number three in the world for those 60 meter hurdles. Of course, we know she's a 2016 Olympic champion, gonna be going for a defense of her Olympic gold medal in Tokyo this year. All right, so like I said, so many great performances across the board on from the pros, the NCAAs, on the field, on the track. Make sure you guys check out some more results. I'm gonna leave a couple links below. I'm gonna leave some links below for some videos online as well. So make sure you guys check those out. Again, make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite performance from this past week of track and field is. We're gonna be back next weekend. So much content that we're gonna be covering. A lot more meets that are gonna be coming up. So keep tuning in and we'll be back again next video. Thanks.